Even the best laid plans will encounter problems, and that is how every painting feels for me. No matter how much I prepared with thumbnails and value studies, once I started painting, one question always looms: When is it time to stop painting so I don't overwork it? Hi everyone, I'm Chie, and welcome to my channel. Today, I'm going to talk about how to know when your art is finished. A question that many of us struggle with. While I walk you through my process, I'll be working on an ink and wash painting of a very unique Art Nouveau building in Riga, Latvia. There's no hard and fast rule for when a piece is finished, and it's different for everyone. But I have a few guidelines that help me decide when to stop. It's important not to push yourself too hard physically when painting. One of the first things I look for is if my eyes start to feel strained or I become extremely flustered and frustrated with how the painting is going. It's often a sign that continuing could be counterproductive. After a painting session, I step back and place the painting where I can view it from a distance. This allows me to spot any overlooked areas or mistakes that weren't visible up close. I start by checking if the values are correct. Do the shadows and highlights make sense, or are the elements that I want in the foreground or background appearing as intended? I also take time to evaluate the parts of the painting I'm really satisfied with and the areas that aren't quite right. If nothing major bothers me and I have painted all the required areas, I might consider the painting finished right there and then. However, if something feels off and I can pinpoint the problem, I will correct it immediately so long as it doesn't risk muddling the overall painting or make the mistake more obvious. But when something feels wrong and I can't quite figure out what, I give myself some space. I might walk away from the painting for a day or even a week and return to it with fresh eyes. Often, I'll come back to it, warm up to the painting, and stop second-guessing my painting decisions. In those cases, I know the painting is done. But what if I feel that something isn't right and I just don't know how to fix it? In that case, I usually have two options. I either leave it and work on something else until a solution occurs to me, or I write it off and redo the painting differently. Another strategy I usually use is to ask a friend or a family member for their opinion. They're not as invested in the piece as I am, so they can sometimes see what I can't. Sometimes minor mistakes can really bother me and I feel the urge to fix them. But often correcting them won't actually change anything and it usually makes the matter worse. In these moments, I've learned to stand firm against my perfectionist tendencies. I decide the painting is finished and put it aside before I start overthinking. After all, those small flaws are things only I noticed. It's important to recognize when perfectionism is stopping you from moving forward. Having said all that, I don't always follow my own advice. There are moments when I've been frustrated during a painting session and not too sure how to solve a particular issue. But instead of quitting, I find that pushing forward and working on other areas leads me to a solution. 
One piece of advice I find especially useful comes from watercolor artist Mr. Andrew Pitt. He said, "Never paint anything twice until you painted everything once." This stops me from obsessing over a problematic area and forces me to move on and return to it with fresh perspective. So that's how I approach knowing when a painting is finished. It's a combination of stepping back and sometimes just letting go of perfectionism.
As for this painting, I don't feel any nagging problems bothering me, so I will put it in the finished category. I hope you find these tips helpful and let me know in the comments how do you know when your art is finished. I would love to hear your thoughts. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future content. Or check out some of my past art adventures right here. And I will see you in the next video.